The Philippines telecommunications market, an industry that was once monopolized by two players, has in recent years been experiencing a massive shift. This shift was due to the establishment of new players in the industry. This meant that the two major firms known as PLDT and Globe Telecom are now on the cusp of being disrupted. The first major shift happened way back in 2018, when a firm known as Ms. Latell changed its name for branding's sake to Dito Telecom, has helped build out better telecommunications infrastructure for Filipinos. With the help of China firms, they have pushed for better supply and more capital allocation from the previous telecommunication providers, which resulted according to the Speed Test Global Index, saw the Philippines have its global rankings increase, as to have a formidable global performance in its fixed broadband speed. Ranking 58th on the leaderboard, it registers a median speed of about 56 megabytes per second, a shot higher than it was in 2021, at only 35 megabytes per second. This disruption, however, is not even the only significant uptake in the telecommunications industry. As the former president of the Philippines, Rodrigo Duterte, has done with his administration, was to increase foreign investment flows to the industry, which he has done so through various reforms of previous policies. This has then paved the way for major interests from around the world, notably known as Elon Musk's SpaceX provision of satellite internet, which would be the first ever in the entire Philippines, and even the sale of PLDT Telecom's close to 6,000 towers to E.co Group and Edgepoint for a whopping 77 billion pesos. This sale, however, means a different thing, as these towers will be rather to improve the entire telecommunications industry of the Philippines, and most presumably PLDT's side. As a matter of fact, on the other hand, Dito Telecom's entrance to the country has even opened up more competition around the country. After Dito, a telecom provider known as Now Corporation has also ended up as the fourth major provider. A business that partners up with South Korea's SK Telecom and Viet Tel Group from Vietnam. There are also talks to further have more telecommunication providers around the country, which more than likely will have a huge impact on the overall quality service of Filipinos. Anyway, what do you think?